homes. Things are quiet and dry right now in Albuquerque and also up to Santa Fe around the northern mountains. Some storm activity off to our southwest in Catron County and also Socorro County. These storms are pushing to the east northeast. We'll have to watch this area later tonight to see if any of these storms fill in and try and move it northward into the metro. But right now things are dry here in Albuquerque. Still some leftover showers around Ruidoso and then further to the east of Roswell near Lovington and Hobbs. Still a few leftover showers there, but most of the activity is not as active as it was on your Saturday. So much quieter end to the weekend than when we began. Satellite and radar showing most of the activity in western New Mexico and also off to our southeast. And it's just been dry and quiet around the northern mountains for this afternoon. Here's a look at Sandia Peak, a time lapse from this afternoon over Albuquerque. Just seeing a few clouds passing from time to night, time to time. A great day to be outdoors and spend some time, especially with temperatures pretty cool for this time of the year. We're sitting in the lower 80s, usually. For this time of the year, we're sitting in the upper 80s, upper 70s in Santa Fe, 66 degrees in Ruidoso, 80 degrees in TRC, and it's 77 in Grand. So we'll have a slight chance for a spot shower here in the metro around 7 o'clock with temperatures dipping back into the upper 70s. Then as we head into the overnight hours, low temperatures dipping into lower 60s with a mix of sun and clouds as you wake up on your Monday. So we'll have those scattered storms tonight basically in southern New Mexico with mild seasonal overnight lows. And then for tomorrow, a few storms basically over the mountains of New Mexico once again. And we'll continue at least with a slight chance for some storms in northeastern New Mexico as a frontal boundary pushes into the region. The rest of us will be experiencing much drier air as an area of high pressure parks over the state. But this cold front will continue to push to the west into central New Mexico by the middle of the week. And that could spark some storms here in Albuquerque and some of the storms in eastern New Mexico could be on the strong to severe side, but that's still a few days out and we'll continue to watch that over the next few days. In southern Colorado tomorrow, temperatures climbing back into the 70, 74 degrees in Pagosa Springs, 79 in Cortez and 76 in Durango with a chance for more storms for tomorrow and Tuesday. In Farmington, you'll be in the middle 80s, upper 70s in Grants and Cuba. Dulce, you'll make it to 77 degrees with a chance for some storms. We'll continue with a slight chance for storms on Tuesday and Wednesday before things completely dry out by Thursday and Friday with temperatures climbing back into the lower 90s. And the southwest will have temperatures in the middle 80s to the lower 90s, 92 degrees in TRC and Deming, 94 in Alamogordo with a chance for some storms tomorrow and on your Tuesday. In the southeast, temperatures ranging from the middle 70s in Ruidoso to the upper 60s in Cloudcroft, 94 degrees for a high temperature in Carlsbad, 91 in Roswell in Lovington with a chance for some storms tomorrow, then only a slight chance for a few storms on Tuesday and Wednesday. The northeast, you have the best chance of seeing more rounds of showers and storms throughout the next seven days as those cold fronts move through your region, sparking some storms during the afternoon and evening hours. So chances for storms throughout the week with temperatures holding in the middle to upper 70s in Las Vegas. And then over the northern mountains, we'll have more chances for storms. Temperatures in the upper 60s to the lower 80s in Española, 77 degrees in Taos with a chance for storms on Monday and Tuesday. And then in the East Mountains, temperatures will be in the upper 70s in Sandia Park and Cedar Crest, lower 80s in Edgewood. And then in the Metro, we'll be Climbing back into the low to mid 80s, still temperatures slightly below average for tomorrow, but we'll warm things back up by the middle of the week when we dry things out completely by Wednesday and Thursday and overnight lows dipping into the middle 60s. So